All right, friends, uh, greetings, salutations, and welcome to this Prophetic Insights. Friends, breaking news. Let's take a look at this. This is the New York Post, August 1st, 2020. Headline reads, protesters burn Bible. American flag they burned as well as tensions rise in Portland. Take a look at this. Left-wing activists bring a stack of Bibles to burn. So friends, what is the prophetic significance of this recent incident? That's why we have come to Prophetic Insights, where we can analyze current events as they are fulfilling Bible prophecy. Take a look at this, friends. Burning Bibles. They're even asking for more Bibles to burn. Listen one more time. Mm, mm, mm. And here it is. August 1st, 2020. As they turn to burning Bibles, Portland rioters show their true colors. Their true colors. Oh, friends, there it is. Black Lives Matter showing their true colors. Antifa, they say, that group. And it's all about Marxism. You remember this? Marxism, communism, atheism. So what can we expect? Take a look at this, my friends. From the French Revolution, the reign of terror, now these things have come to the United States of America. Great controversy. Page 273. Quoting, referencing, Revelation chapter 11, verse 7 and verse 8. It says, blue words, the atheistical power that ruled in France during the revolution and the reign of terror, yes, did wage war against God and his holy word. As the world had never witnessed, red words, Bibles were collected and publicly burned with every possible manifestation of scorn. They burned Bibles during the French Revolution. Now take a look at this. Who was one of the primary instigators behind the French Revolution? The papacy. The policy of Rome led to those conditions, social, political, and religious, that were hurrying friends on to ruin but of course friends it backfired on the papacy and she has learned from her mistakes and she will make sure she does not repeat her mistakes from the past but praise god the papacy will meet her doom babylon will completely fall completely fall take a look at this my friends and what happened after the French Revolution? Take a look at this. And as I read this, consider these words in light of what's happening now in America. France was shaken as if by an earthquake. My mind went to Matthew 24, verse 7 and verse 8. Religion, law, social order, the family, the state, and the church all were smitten down by the impious hand that had been lifted against the law of God, even burning Bibles. What happened thereafter? Morality was reinstituted in France after the French Revolution. Bible societies were now organized. Take a look at this, my friends. There it is. History, Great Controversy, page 287. With that in mind, with that in mind, take a look at this now, my friends. Education, page 228, from the French Revolution to the world in these last days, starting in the United States of America. Notice now, who has been caught 
Did they burn Bibles in France? Are they burning Bibles now in America? And who was caught funding radical groups, supporting riots, anarchy, and calling for the death to police? Do you see it, my friends? Roman Catholic leaders. I cover that. I'm going to skim and peruse that. It's clear what time it is, my friends. She's playing on both sides of the issue. Create the crisis to lead to Sunday rest by law. Look at this. Let's confirm that. Listen, you want to bring back moral rebirth in America? Then we need to have a mandatory Sunday worship. Listen. We should be debating a bill requiring every American to attend a church of their choice on Sunday to see if we can get back to having a moral rebirth. Hmm. UK bishops are calling for it to bring back morality. We need Sunday rest by law. In America, come back to America to bring back morality. They say headline, bring back the blue laws. Red words, Sunday laws. There it is, my friends. There it is. Red words on this slide, this paragraph. I am not advocating mandatory church going, though it wouldn't be the worst idea. Here's my point. They're calling for forced Sunday worship. Because now we are experiencing a moral crisis. Is that point clear? All right. Next, we're going to see also mandatory vaccination. Because we are encountering, experiencing a health crisis. Take a look at this, my friends. There it is. Great Controversy, page 587. Sunday observance by law to bring back morality. That's a nail in a sure place. Look at this now. Pestilences, calamities will become more frequent and more disastrous than Sunday rest by law due to a health crisis. Are these points clear, my friends? Let's talk now about mandatory inoculation because we are now living in a time of a health crisis. Look at this, my friends. There it is. They can force vaccinate you against your will. We covered that before. Let's move on. I'm going somewhere. Doing yesterday's message, Operation Warp Speed. President Trump and officials are now elated about coronavirus vaccines and therapeutics. And now the military will be involved. We cover that. Breaking with former protocol. That's my point, my friends. And the military does bring intimidation. All right? So in a health crisis, connect the military. Do you see it? To oversee. Because the vaccine, they say, is the primary solution for the global pandemic pestilence. Let's flip it. Next slide. Now we have calamities, a moral crisis. The primary solution is going to be Sunday rest by law. Who will they have to oversee that? The military. Fulfilling Luke 21. We're here, my friends. Verse 20, 21, 22. When you shall see Jerusalem surrounded with armies, no, the end thereof is nigh. And Jesus said, the destruction of Jerusalem typifies the destruction of the world. Wake up. Stay awake. Get others ready. Look at this, friends. And Mr. Trump said, oh, everybody may not want to get the vaccine. Inferring it's not going to be mandatory, but we know what's going to happen. Listen. Do you mean the order is not the best? I believe they were outdoors. Listen. Do you mean a fully approved vaccine for everyone, the full public, or 
a partially approved vaccine with emergency use. No, we're looking for a full vaccine for everyone that wants to get it. Not everybody's going to want to get it. But we're looking at a full vaccine. Is that a Not everybody is going to want to get it. Now, look at this. We covered that. July 28th, August 2nd, 2020. Breaking news. Headline says, vaccinate or terminate. Mandatory vaccination as a workplace policy. Blue words. If a fully or nearly fully inoculated workforce could materially reduce and even eliminate the direct threat the pandemic poses to the workplace. It seems natural to implement a mandatory vaccination program as soon as a COVID-19 vaccine is widely available. What a statement, my friends. Do you know what this shows, number one? Number one, there is coming forced mandatory vaccination. It's coming as the pestilence become more frequent, more disastrous. It's coming. Make no mistake about it. Secondly, what are we going to do? How are we going to respond? I covered what our response should be in prior lessons. Number three, this specific article is addressing the workplace. Mm. Is it now time for God's people to be looking for other means for an income? What's going to happen if we're working in these sectors? It's time for us to be self-supporting, independent of many job sectors. Yes, friends. That's practical. It's practical. All right, friends. And we are told... That when we see these things begin to come to pass, it's time to look up. Lift up your heads. Your redemption draweth nigh. Luke 21. The Bible says in verse 34, in the time of preparation, time of preparation, take heed to yourselves, lest your hearts be overcharged with surfeiting and drunkenness. And the cares of this life. So that they overtake you as a surprise. Unawares. Verse 35. For as a sneer shall it come. Upon all them that dwell upon the face of the whole earth. Verse 36 now. Watch you therefore and pray always. Preparation. That you may be accounted worthy. To escape all these things and to stand before the Son of Man. To escape all these things that shall come to pass. So much more I could say right now. But my friends, I hope these points have left an indelible mark upon your minds. It's time to get ready practically. Do you recall those five keys of preparation? Oh friends, again I say... The protest continues. Let's be found prepared. Why? The Lord is coming soon. Maranatha.